And we're live. Welcome to sprint number 49, the common stack sprint review. So we are doing something different. We used to do a bunch of sprint reviews and it was basically like, oh, hey, everyone, what did you do this sprint? And it was kind of more for the team than for you, the audience, the people who care about the common stack and want to stay updated. But now we're going to structure it so we give you the, the freshest news, the most interesting stuff. And, you know, the, the other work that we're always doing behind the scenes, we just won't mention it unless you ask. Of course, please give us feedback in the, in the video below. If you have any questions or any, any uh, comments on the new format, uh, give us, keep us updated. But in general, there's a lot going on, of course, always in the common stack space. And just to stay updated, probably the biggest thing is that we're going to be there in live. We're going to be in person in DevCon in Bogota. So please find me or Livia or Maria and Max who are representing the Trusted Seed. We'll all be there. We're giving talks. Uh, check it out. Look for our names in the agenda and you'll find some really cool talks going on. And there's also going to be a Trusted Seed uh, picnic in the park. So that'll be really fun to uh, keep your eyes on both the Trusted Seed Twitter and the Common Stack Twitter to find out where we're going to be and also the probably the biggest news is we have a new team member amelia welcome to the team uh amelia is going to be our creative director and she is holding it down giving us a a, a strong narrative you know that our website hasn't been updated in a while let's just be honest about it and she's going to help us uh bring bring the common stack forward with a, with a beautiful identity so thank you so much amelia and welcome in other news, uh, actually, you know, we're basically out of money. Like, let's just be frank. Bear market is real. Uh, we do have, luckily, some endowments in partnership with the Region Network and Giveth that give us uh, some streams of funding uh, on a regular basis. But we're really living off of donations to keep all of this work going. Uh, donations and friendly partnerships with General Magic, who does a lot of our dev work uh, and, uh, and, and these other things that we can kind of like work our network to make us survive. But honestly, we just we're, we're living off of donations. So please support us. You can donate on Giveth. You can search Common Stack there uh, or go down below. There'll be a link to our Giveth campaign or on Gitcoin. Uh, but Giveth is amazing because when you donate on Giveth, you'll actually get a bunch of give tokens back to subsidize your donations. So uh, it's almost like the Web3 tax deduction. And they're also sponsoring us with their endowment. So uh, thank you so much uh, for your support. That's what makes the common stack possible. And with that, I will pass it to Christopher to tell us about what's been going on in the praise side of things. Thanks, Crip. Um, let's see if my screen share came up. Yeah, it seems so. Uh, a, a lot of a lot has been going on in the praise. Uh, development. Uh, one of the most notable new feature is that we now can do uh, custom uh, token exports uh, right from the uh, from the praise dashboard, uh, and we also have created a a library of these uh, transformer components so that the community can contribute to whatever uh, export transformers they do need uh, that they can create them. You can create them by yourself or with our assistance. We will grow this library over time uh, so that there will be uh, export transformers for the most common, commonly used DAO platforms and token distribution platforms and, and so on. Um, Rachel has done an excellent work in creating a video for uh, on how to quantify. That will be interesting for all communities uh, deploying praise to have a, have a look at. Excellent work, Rachel. And uh, yeah, deployments are going forward. So the main big deployment that uh, has happened the last few that giveth is online with the new praise system. We're super happy about that. That is the OG uh, praise using community. They have been using the, the original praise bot since, since forever. And it has a big vibrant community. So we have lots of hope though, to get loads of new feedback on new features, requests, and, and etc. Uh, from the giveth praise community. Um, and again, Rachel has done a great job of uh, facilitating and, and uh, project managing that the deployment, coming up with the, uh, all the parameters needed and set, uh, helping to, to form a rewards team and uh, um, getting uh, giveth online with that. Um, 
I think those are the main things that have been happening in praise the last few weeks. So then I'll pass it to uh, to Libby. Thanks, Christopher. I'm here to share about grassroots economics. So as everybody knows, uh, grassroots economics won the Commons Prize. And I went to Kenya, spent a month there to understand how we can best work with them, what is... Um, how is their structure? How does it fit with our structure? So here's a little bit of a party. Uh, this was one of the sessions we had for the uh, un-safari. So there was eat safari happening in Kenya, but um, they weren't so integrated with the grassroots communities and the work that has been happening on the ground. So we organized this little uh, adventure into the villages and for people to get to know the work being done there. And I have to say, I was really impressed and all the time I've been working in crypto, this was the first time I saw people um, really using blockchain in a way that uh, it's meaningful for them, for their lives. Like some of these communities didn't even have piped water, but they were using the blockchain. And that felt like a very, use of all the work that's being developed in the space so yeah my time there was understanding um grassroots economics as a foundation and also this commons communities as um as they are and how they are integrated with grassroots economics so the way it works is each one of those communities that create their own vouchers they are like small commons they are one commons itself, and then we are trying to transform grassroots economics foundation into a commons. So it's a big commons with many other commons uh, in its umbrella. And these vouchers create abundance for these communities in a way that um, they don't have the means of exchange. So if we think of money just as a means of exchange and the national money as a scarce mean of exchange that doesn't come to these communities very often. So when you create a voucher, they can use the goods and services that they already have um, with this new mean of exchange introduced, so a currency, and then they can um, make it flow the abundance they already have uh, present in their communities. So I did some stakeholder mappings to understand them a little bit more stakeholder interviews and soon we'll be yeah uh soon we'll have the next steps of this partnership that is still uh on the work and that's what i had to share and i'll pass to usama thanks uh thanks livia um let me share my screen uh can you can you see my screen yeah uh thanks thanks livia so yeah uh first of all uh we are working on a documentation for commons deployment so it's basically divided into four uh, phases like initialization build hatch and commons upgrade so we are basically uh in uh in uh rewarding labor expertise and capital so uh we are doing some visual work and uh, here here is the visual work we have done so th uh, there are some concepts that needs to be clear and there are some complex uh, concepts so we are uh, basically trying to make it more simpler so it's not complete yet uh, but we are working on it and uh, to get any feedback uh, which is um, uh, to make it more readable and simple uh, so other than that uh, we have uh, also uploaded uh, our documentation to uh, the notion so uh, as soon as it's uh, completely done we will completely upload it to the notion so uh yeah uh, and sec another thing is like uh, the goal of uh, what is the goal of this uh, documentation so uh, the goal is basically to open source the deployment uh, protocol so that you know anyone any community uh, can deploy their own commons uh, using our design patterns and uh, like uh, and finally, we can say that, you know, we are uh, trying to make it more simple uh, so everyone can be able to understand. And uh, another thing is uh, we are planning uh, to uh, offering a service uh, to guide a commons, uh, like how to how to build their commons. And uh, we will make an official announcement in the coming weeks. But right now we are working on the documentation first. So, yeah, uh, that's uh, from my side. I will pass it to uh, 
Christopher. Thank you. I, I, I went already. Uh, I believe. Yeah, I can. Yeah. I can take it. I so. Yes. Uh, thanks, Isama. So yeah, as Grip uh, said earlier, uh, we have a new contributor, Emilia. So um, she joined us a couple of months ago to take on the uh, creative strategist role, and uh, she's been doing an awesome job in helping us shape the uh, common stock story. She's actually here on the call and I'm gonna pass it to her to let her introduce herself before I uh, talk more about her contributions to the team. Emilia? Thank you, Ivy. Um, well, yes, my name is Emilia. I'm currently developing the brand narrative for Common Stack so we can transmit our message in a more simple and clear way. And the most important is that I feel very proud where I'm working and who I'm working with. And I think that's the best thing that happens to me, like in, from Common Start. And that's it. Thank you, Ivy. Thank you. Hello to everybody. All right. So um, let me just uh, share my screen so you can see what uh, Emilia has been uh, working on. All right. Um, so yeah, uh, Emilia, as I said early, uh, earlier, Emilia has been uh, helping us to build a uh, compelling narrative on the work that we do at Common Stack, and um, part of that, um, hold on, part of that, uh, part of that uh, is a stakeholder interviews and a perspective uh, uh, mapping. So she's been taking, uh, she's been talking to our stakeholders and getting their perspectives on uh, different topics like. Um, what's our reputation? What are the pro problems that we're trying to solve? Who's our target audience? And why does it matter? So, um, and uh, based on the stakeholders' um, answers, it seems like we are the link between communities and the tools and knowledge that we are needed to uh, that are needed to uh, steward uh, public goods. And uh, we help. Uh, we help. Uh, we help and support builders and communities by providing an open source uh, stack of tools and cultural practices so they are uh, able to uh, achieve something um, something together. And uh, also in the past sprint, uh, Emilia also engaged the whole team in a story mapping exercise. So we plotted the things that um, we've done and what we're currently doing and what we want to do in the future and uh, weigh the importance of uh, each uh, initiative. The goal of this activity is to, uh, uh, to arrive at a collective decision on what we want to prioritize as a team. So um, all these insights are useful in shaping our story and uh, helping our community understand better what Common Stack is here for. So um, huge praise to Emilia for uh, the great work that she's been doing. And I pass it back to you, Dave. Thank you, Ivy. Yeah, and this is the part where we get to praise everybody at the end, all the people, you know, we always get all the credit because here we are, uh, you know, representing the common stack in this review call. But there's so much going on in the ecosystem and so many people who helped us out. And uh, instead of me rattling off the whole praise wrap, we're going to pass it around. So I'll start by saying I want to praise Gideon for all his leadership in the TEC, helping to transform it into a lean, mean, advancing token engineering machine. Uh, and, and, and it's really transforming right now. And without his leadership, we'd be lost. I want to praise Max for taking the reins of the trusted seed and running with it also down a new path. Uh, really geared toward financial st st sustainability through cool events that are going to be sponsored. So if you want to sponsor an event, definitely talk to Masks. Um, also, I want to ma give major praise to Jeff for representing the Common Stack and Trust the Seat on the Green Pill podcast. I'm excited to listen to it, hopefully this weekend. Uh, also, I want to praise Chris, Jeff, Max, Ivy, Letty, and, and Maffer for stewarding the Trusted Seat as a as board members attending board meetings and it's sorting out all the major decisions that are transforming the trusted seed right now. And I'm gonna praise Ivy and Letty especially for working on the underwriting, underwriting agreement so the trusted seed can be more robust. And I'll praise Will for being so welcoming Oh no, that's, uh, I wanna praise Will for partnering us and teaching us, that was actually uh, Livia's praise. I wanna praise Will for partnering with us and teaching us what it takes to launch a real cyber physical commons to make real impact on the ground. And I'll pass it over to Tim. Oh, cool, all right. 
Uh, so I'd like to praise Joseph from Precious Plastics for catching me up on what Precious Plastics has been up to since the Commons Prize and also sharing the other One Army initiatives like Project Camp and Fixing Fashion, which um, I went into a little bit of a rabbit hole uh, researching. I'd like to praise Manu for the Doing Good Manifesto, which I keep seeing popping up in my Twitter timeline, and for all you do to push forward our Web3 impact ecosystem. I'd like to praise Jessica for the great conversation we had this week. Our talks always make me feel so much better afterwards. Uh, I'd like to praise Angela for making free high quality token engineering education available to the world. And congratulations on the monumental TE Fundamentals course that uh, TE Academy will be launching this month. I'd also like to praise Will for weeks of patiently doing discovery work with us at Common Stack over the summer, explaining the components of grassroots economics as they exist today, explaining the uh, voucher economies in Kenya and the many things that I've learned from you since, uh, since we started working together. And I'd like to also praise Ivy, Max, Chris, Jeff, and Letty, the board of directors for the Trusted Seed for their diligence in moving forward, our group of trusted actors who apply wisdom, expertise, and capital to early stage Web3 Commons, and for coming up with such lovely wording to describe the Trusted Seed. And I'll pass to Christopher. Thanks. Uh, I'd like to pass uh, uh, praise uh, Bonjoui and, and uh, John No Planet from um, Gnosis for daring to hop on the praise train, sort of, uh, and being the first fully external community using the system. It takes some some guts. Uh, I'd like to praise uh, Franco from from Giveth for taking on the the uh, big hat of being the praise uh, lead for for Giveth. Uh, coordinating the rewards team and doing all that work. Uh, I'd like to praise Mitch for constantly, just constantly pushing relevant feedback uh, to the praise dev team from uh, both a, a talk a TEC perspective and a giveth perspective. Um, he's a force of a constant force of good feedback. Uh, and I also like to praise Mitch for uh, writing some excellent documentation of how to set up the Aragon transactions for your DAO, which is uh, really simplify um, paying out tokens for from your DAO. And that's it for for me. Uh, I'll pass it to Emilia. Thanks, Christopher. Well, I have a lot of praise to give. My first pra time praising. So first, I would like to praise Tamara for help me, helping me build the framework for the interviews and also your work in the story mapping, and also for believing in me from the beginning. And then I would like to praise Ivy for being so open with her thoughts in our one-on-one -on -one calls and for sharing some time and information always with me. Livia for your energy, your transparency, and her vision on the Web3 ecosystem was super helpful. And also for your kind words where I, when I was feeling overwhelmed. And Usama for your commitment in the interview process and your team things. Also grateful for your comments on our target audience. You were super clear. And Christopher for being so professional and accurate on your answers during the interview. Your suggestions were really helpful for me. Also, praise to, I would like to praise Griff for providing a clear and inspiring vision on the interview process. And I'm a big fan of the fire inside of you, Griff. I would like to praise Jeff for being so kind, open and reachable during the interview process. Also for spending extra time with, with me and sharing his viewpoints. And Nate from TEC for sharing his time and providing a super fresh perspective during the interviews with the stakeholders. So that's it and I pass it to Livia. Thanks, Emilia. I'll keep it short. I, I have a big, big praise for grassroots economics team. Will, of course, for being so welcoming to me in Kenya and for the incredible work he continues to push on the ground. And also to the people who are not in our Discord, but that made all the difference and have such a brilliant work there. That is Joy, Anthony, Sylvia, Mina, Emmanuel, Janet, and Jambi and other team members too that were passing through and that uh, put their heart and soul to make what they're doing happening. And it was uh, really inspiring and humbling for me to see their work. And I'll pass to Ivy.
Thanks, Lydia. Um, uh, I want to praise Max and Asia and Maria for all the hard work that they've been doing in providing the uh, trusted members a better experience. I want to praise Zeptimus, Rex, and T. Bear uh, from TEC for the care and thoughts that they put into the Transparency Working Group and upholding transparency and mutual accountability in the TE Commons. I want to praise uh, Humberto and Urbanica for the uh, Commons 101 course and their uh, immersive uh, video guides. Uh, it's such a fun way of uh, learning about commoning. And I want to praise Algin for handling our printful shop and swag orders and taking notes uh, during the trusted board meetings. And I also want to praise uh, Freshel for uh, keeping track of our graphic expenses. Uh, that's it for me. I pass it to you, uh, Rachel. Thanks, Ivy. Uh, I'd like to praise Mitch for being like a bridge between Common Stack and Givet helping us quarterback the praise upgrade in Giveth. Um, I would like to also praise Ashley for coordinating the community demo and making sure that we had as many people as possible in attendance. I'd like to praise uh, Franco for taking on the, the role of the praise lead in Giveth um, to help carry the community along, coordinate with the rewards team and manage the operations of praise in the community. I'd like to praise um, the members of the rewards team in Give it, um, we have Matteo, Claire, Nicola, and Danny. They will be helping oversee all praise operations and they will help keep praise running um, well in Give it. And I'll pass it uh, back to you, Tom. I think, okay. I think, oh, do you want to take it, Tim? Uh, no, I think, is everyone gone? Yeah, I, I'm the one left. <laughs> all right, Sana. Yeah, sure. Uh, so yeah, I praise uh, Rohit Malikar for answering the questions around ABC in our general Discord channel. Uh, so I praise uh, Freshel for helping out uh, with my trace. And I praise all Will for all the patience uh, in our deployment press process. And pra praise uh, Tiago for all the work he has done regarding region partnership. And praise Max, Yini, and Maria to push forward the rest of the seed. And uh, you can see like there's a clear direction. And praise uh, everyone who contributed to our Gridcoin Grant during the last sprint. So yeah, I uh, will pass back to you, uh, Tam. Yeah, I, I can. Yeah, <laughs> I can take it. Unless you want to yeah. finish this off, Tam. I mean, I just wanted to say it was a great sprint, and I love this new sprint review format. And uh, I hope everyone enjoys this new format. Yeah. Thank. Thank you all for watching. And